In 2108, humanity began colonizing the stars. Their reach would eventually span a vast region of space known as the Inner Sphere. During its golden age, under the governance of the Star League, the Inner Sphere experienced unprecedented peace, prosperity, and technological advancement. <laughs> but with a great rise comes a great fall. Beset by greed and mistrust, humanity splintered. The Star League crumpled. Technological advancement slowed. The great houses, each vying for supremacy, turned on one another, engaging in a series of conflicts known as the Succession Wars. Amidst this chaos, mercenaries became the proxy forces for the great houses. Numerous battlefields sprung up across the inner sphere dominated by hulking war machines known as Battle Max. Battle the Max. year is now 3015, and these steel behemoths have become the tools of the mercenaries' trade. It's a lucrative time, yet one beset with perils of all kinds. Only the most skilled and brave among them will rise to become legend. Music is just rocking in this game. God damn, I say god damn. Hey guys, Genghis Ron here. I know it's been quite a while, because uh, <laughs> quite frankly, with the way my jaw's been going, I have not had the energy to play, and I have an allergy to the monster drinks I used to enjoy. I drink them and my throat just goes nuts, but uh, I've got some energy tonight got a game I really enjoy and I figure I'm gonna try to start something up with this and see if I can continue to put up videos and hopefully get some time to stream would be nice but I'm in food service now so I don't get too much time um, so this is uh, Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries I used to really be into the Mercenaries games back in the day and I love Battletech it's uh, my second love next to like Warhammer because Warhammer 40k I love the lore and I kind of enjoy the lore of this game too because I used to play the tabletop and with the tabletop you could actually it, it's a good game that you can combine role playing aspects with the actual game so it's not like Warhammer where it's just straight up war you can actually do some role playing with your old mercenary unit and get friends together you don't even need a DM really I mean you have someone that can technically be the DM and play the opposing faction but it, it's kind of cool. But anyway, what do we got here? Uh, I've been playing the campaign for a little while, so I figured I'd start a career and see what it's like. So the career mode is an open-ended, mercenary-focused experience. You're free to travel and explore the inner sphere as you please, running your mercenary company as you see fit. Oh, God, including running it into the ground like I usually do. Conflict zones, industrial hubs, quests, and Nick's Cavaliers campaign are all accessible in this mode, but have been tuned to better reflect chosen starting location, which I took House Steiner, or Origins of German, just like myself. Let's do this. Additional career mode content also awaits you, such as new conflict zones, biomes, mechs, weapons, and equipment, and unique quests. Good luck, Amanda. Okay, so we're going to change our symbol. We'll try to get away from the Church of Ron, which I'll probably go back because I do like that symbol. Let me see here. What are we going to do? I need something cute. Hmm. Hmm. That's an idea. Yes. We have an idea. Hmm. I was going to go and see here. I don't know how much of this is actually going to come through with the recording. Very small Imperium of Ron. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't seem right. I might just do that. Screw it. We're the Imperium of Ron. It's a small Imperium. Okay, so as Hal Steiner, we started with, uh, well, I thought we're decent mechs. Let's go take a quick look at them. We'll head out on our little bay here. Got us a griffin. It's a nice sized mech. 
good starter. And we got a, a commando, two commandos, and a locust. So we've got three lights and a medium. You know, very, three very light, because I think they're all 20 ton. At least we don't have to go back to the computer for this. We need to bring it up here. So, uh, yes, we, uh, I understand how to play. That's fine. So, 55 tonner and a 25, 25, and a 20. So, we got some really small ones. Okay, so, what do they have me doing here? Okay, hey kid, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to read that whole thing. So, long story short, I got to reach Merc Level uh, 4. Oh, I was like, I changed my symbol. That's, that's just where I am. All right, let's check our star map and see where we can go. Yeah, I know. Get out of here. I'm not, this is an industrial hub. Industrial hub, industrial hub, which is these four systems. This is, okay. So, there's a mission there. Recommended reputation one and two. Okay. Oh, there's, there's Florida. We can go to Florida. Okay. I'm just going to fly on over there. Grab a submission. So I figure what I'm going to do is I'm going to play one mission. We'll go ahead and upload this. Uh, see what you guys think. If you want more, I'll continue. No matter what happens in the game, I'm going to respect it. I'm not going to reload. So win, lose, or draw, we're going to do it. Oh, we need to find a nice paint scheme too. What am I doing? We might take a generic paint scheme. Now see... That's, oh, that is actually kind of cool. I'm going to actually apply that. But I already have the trophy. Now, how'd that work? Did I get it twice? I want a default. Ooh, oh! Oh, Papa Bear love. Oh, Papa Bear do like you some pirates. Yes, sir. Let's apply that to all of them. How does that look? I said apply to all, you fool! Okay, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna pay for that one. Alright, let's try that again. Apply to all. Apply. You fucking jerk ass. I like how it works in my uh, regular game, but no. Now it's gonna give me a fucking... Alright, try that again. No. See? That's gonna bug me. Okay, so apply all. So I... Hmm. Alright. Let's go to this jerk ass and do it. Oh my god. Seriously. Well, you got it now. Apply, dick. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to do this every time. What the hell? They must change something in the latest patch. Gotta have magic colors. Technically, no, but whatever. Apply. There we go. Alright, now we look like a cohesive unit. What, do, what kind of contracts are we looking at? Yeah, yeah, I know. Difficulty 8, we should be able to handle that. Come on. Come on. I got, oh my god, I'm not used to this. Well, let's go with salvage shares. Maybe we can find some new mechs. Confirm. At least they fixed that. Your visibility will be limited out there. Konnichiwa! It have adverse effects on your sensors. I like how they look different. Jesus Christ, the helmets are giant. Some of them have massive helmets. Okay, so, uh, let me see here. So they're not very well skilled. Okay, but we can do it. Me and my little crew. Let's rock this out, shall we? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this mission. We'll upload this, and then, um, yeah, you guys, I'll need comments, opinions. Uh, if you want to see more, we'll try more, because I do like me some mech warrior and i'd like to play this through <coughs> excuse me bless me that was rough like as soon as i start talking i start coughing i haven't done this in a long time i'm way out of practice so get ready for a cringe fest ladies and gentlemen speaking of shard vixen you're probably watching this so hello welcome aboard give me your honest opinion what you think if this is a game you'd like to see more of hmm also, putting it out there for uh, the people I usually play with. If you want to join the uh, the crew, Allied Command has provided us the last known locations of the target. They are more than likely going to stick to any one of the marked locations on the map. Oh, Once you neutralize them, head to the evac point for extraction. So 
here's the thing with this game. If you look at this on the PlayStation Network, it was it was a little confusing. It said that it was uh, single player, and then when I got to looking, it's like single player. I think it said offline optional or online optional, and I was like, what the hell does that mean? So what that means is this game, if you play new campaign. Oh, you idiots. Oh, okay. If you guys play uh, a new campaign or make a career like I did, I started a career, which is your sandbox mode, uh, you can have people just join you. So the four mechs you see here, what happens is I invite people, and you can actually take control of mechs and go at it. So it's an interesting little thing. If you like that kind of game, it's cool. So you can run your own little mercenary crew, and then if you have friends you trust, because if you don't trust them, if it's some rando, you can get kind of screwed. But I got my wife and my uh, friend Chad. We're gonna be starting our own company. Oh, I kind of like the paint scheme on these. Probably pretty generic. I don't have an LR5, but that's fine. Uh... Oh, I got a little ahead of myself there. What is the mission anyway? We're gonna locate the kill, locate and kill. Okay. Oh, there's four. Oh my god. This is basically an assassination. I don't care if it's your kill or not. Congrats, I guess. Do I have jump jets? Oh, it does have jump jets. Okay, that's cool. Hmm. I'm not seeing our targets at this location. May it wait to the next nap. Okay. I'm sorry to keep out here all the information. Oh, I have a large laser. I do like me some energy weapons. Oh, yeah. Anything I don't have to worry about ammo. So this griffin is actually kind of kind of up my, uh, my alley. So, I apologize. Like I said, this can be cringy as hell, because I haven't, I haven't streamed in a long time. I was going to jump into... Enemy eliminated. Thank you. I was going to jump right into uh, Mass Effect, and then I thought better of it, because I haven't streamed in a long time. So... We're gonna warm up with some Mech Warrior. You know, we're going into the cockpit. Like some bad intel. Our target is not here. Oh so we'll dear. Let's go. Locations. Oh shit! I just realized I gotta be careful. Ow, douche! I forgot I had a, I I had a large laser. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, if you guys have uh, headphones, I suggest wearing them. I will keep my speech to a minimum. Because the sound effects, the explosions, they are really nice with headphones on. Good job, buddy. Good job. I, I should really learn your guys' names. Too bad you can't. I don't think you can customize your pilots, which is a bummer. That would be the one thing that would damp this game up, I think. If I could customize the names of the pilots. I do like the Steiner starting mix. They're nice. Now, there is one, I don't know if it's a DLC, because I did get the big bundle that's on sale currently. And so, if you guys want to really try this, the game is on sale. Looks like we're at the wrong place, Commander. Oh, oh must have given us a slip. Let's check out the other locations. Oh no, I was just gonna go home. Thank you for, uh, you know, recommending. Good God! Oh my God! Would you just die? Thank you. Oh my goodness gracious! There's a lot of stuff. Down here. What are we just taking payback? Oh, he's not here. Kill everything. Okay. Just gotta be careful. Those commandos are pretty late. All units, weapons free. Oh. Oh, were we not supposed to be shooting? Donkey shoots. Oh. Oh dear. Didn't see you there. Oh, I got the wrong thing on. I was trying to give commands. Oh, oh my god! Oh, 
my god, that thing has an AC-20, and that's painful. Once you've found the targeted asset, move up to it, and we'll begin the recovery procedure. What target asset? Oh. Objects identified next in the area. Moving in to investigate. Took one down. Oh, I wish you would have taken down the main target. That would have been beautiful. I told him to attack the hunchback, and they just went, okay, sure. God, it's like the people who work in my kitchen. Oh no, that's a freaking urban mech. Ah! Oh, I wish you guys would finish him off. We need to. Kill yep, we need to go now. We fulfilled our contract, Commander. Let's get you out of here now. I'm going the exact opposite direction. I need to get them. Ah, goddamn. Warm the fuck up. Let's go. Full speed, people. Full speed. Oh, shit. I'm a glutton for punishment. Whew. Rocked him in the face with a nice fist. Oh god, he's he, he, she it's hurting. We gotta go. Target neutralized. Thank you. Oh god, too many mechs. Target shared and engaging. Good. We're on down. Oh my god, why am I stopped? Oh, we lost somebody. I guess this is additional experience, I hope. That's called teaching them a lesson. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes, please. Okay, so lesson kind of learned. Locus. I stayed in that fight a little too long. I just hit my own ship. That was smart. Oh my god. Jeez, get the hell out. Whew, that was rough. Damn. Okay, mental note. When you complete the mission, leave. Don't go, I'm gonna step it up and I'm gonna kill everything. Oh my god, I almost got wrecked. I didn't realize my leg took a massive hit there. What we're gonna do, we're gonna load in here, we're gonna get the mission rewards, and I'm gonna take a quick stroll around and examine the damage, because it, it is pretty cool. It does keep the damage modeled on, the, uh, on your mechs, which is pretty neat. Now... Compared to other mech games like uh, Battle Operation 2, it's a completely different animal. I mean, this is single player slash co op compared to PvP. Oh, hey, look at that. We didn't come out of that. Oh, we did come out of that empty handed because we can't, can't take the uh, hunchback. We've got nothing there. These are level 1 each. They're machine guns. What do I actually use? They're machine guns. Let's take a small laser. Take yellow arm 10, the medium laser, take two of those, and take the small lasers. Because they're level one, so. Oh, I leveled up my movement, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's movement, that's speed on the uh, bottom right. On my, uh, I can't take it down there, but on my, uh, the commander there. Oh, it doesn't give me a name. That's interesting. I'm just commander. Okay, let's continue out of this. Alright, so... Let's go to examine our battle mechs. We had one that got completely wiped out, but it looks like it's still there. Yeah, my leg got... thrashed. Oof, that one was completely destroyed, it looks like. <clears throat> so, fun times repairing that. 
Uh, that one's not too bad. That one's not too bad. Took some, took a beating, but I mean they are smaller mechs. They're on the lower scale, a 20 ton and 225 tons. So I mean, what can I expect? I kind of ran in there like a cowboy. You know, let's use the console. We'll go ahead and get those to. Let's move out of there. We're gonna go back down to Florida. If you try to repair in a war zone like that, in hostile territory, it takes longer. It's like a 30% increase in, I think it's 30% for cost and duration. So, what we're going to do is we're going to just dip out to this industrial zone and do some repairs. So it's a little cheaper. I can't believe I took that much of a beating. What's bummer is when you repair, it doesn't seem to replace your stuff. Eww. That thing was just decimated, so let's get that completely up and running. It's got some money, but we put out a lot of money. Ugh. Now, the one part did he did they die? Oh yeah, yeah, I got it. Oh my god, they all talk at once. Calm down. Holy shit. Okay, we're gonna actually have to repair the ship. What? I just heard boring as hell. Was that was that a was that a viewer? Oh what the hell? Okay. Wow. She's already pretty high up. Yeah. Oh my god, stop talking at the same time. That it's insanity. Alright, so we've got a new pilot. We got the mechs all started up, so what we're going to do, I'm going to cut it here. Uh, if you guys have stuck here this long, thank you. Uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Hopefully I have the energy to do another video in the near future. It'd be nice. I still have to finish Necromunda. I'm on the last mission of that, so I can't remember how to play. But it's there. I just haven't had the time nor the energy to really put much thought into it. So um, if, you don't, if you guys don't mind, uh, like... Uh, subscribe would be cool. That'd be awesome. Uh, and I will catch you next time. Hey, see you later, mates.